Hello beautiful Capricorn, how are you today? We're getting the overall energy for the month of February for you. Let's see what we have in store. You have Angel of Strength. Well, that's fantastic. I would like that energy. I have Mars and Capricorn, which I love. Thank heavens for that fortunate placement in my astrology chart. Okay, Capricorn. Oh, observation, patience, attention, pause, and watchful. It's a time in your life to watch what's going on around you. I love the angel of strength that really, it portends good fortune for you. Fiery, very, very, very focused. We see that you're entering the month in a real sense of powerful energy. We have you fired up. The Five of Cups, it does look like there is something haunting you about your personal life or your feelings, but you're forging ahead. Capricorn, you always do that. Again, we're getting this energetic feeling that your emotional life is not quite what you want it to be, but you're taking your power back in a situation. We get the Nine of Pentacles. You are really in good. You're coming into February with the energy of being uh, having reached a, a goal recently. You're feeling very good about yourself. Your life is going very well in the recent past. We get that you look good. Everybody wants you. Everybody finds you sexy. <laughs> so why is this? Tell us about this, Capricorn. But look it. Oh, February is going to be a wonderful month for you. It's filled with joy and happiness. Maybe a vacation to a sunny destination. If you're in a sunny destination, you're going to have a great time. This is the energy. You have two signs of Leo energy, which is all about the fifth house. It's about having fun and you know dating and romance and sexual energy it's very lovely it's recreation it's fun it's being very creative also for if, so if you're doing any uh, doing any creative projects it's going to shine brightly we get great success coming for you you are in a cycle we can see the nine here you're fulfilling a very successful time in your life a goal has been met you've had reason to celebrate let's see what we're coming in oh capricorn look at you in this energy you're in the energy of being deeply in love with somebody a strong pisces energy of just dreaminess feeling soft and affectionate, wanting to hold hands, having the long talk followed by the long walk, beautiful energy. You may be married. You may have children. There's something that's bothering you a little bit behind the scenes. We get the Page of Pentacles. So whoever you're having a relationship with, and this can be family. This can absolutely be family when we get the Ten of Cups. We see that you somebody is making an offer. Somebody wants to invest with you somehow in your life at this time. We get collaboration, wonderful energy that is... Um, at work in your life it is what you would hope for so i think that some of you are hoping that uh, another person entity job whatever you're hoping to work collaboratively with somebody you're expecting and hoping for an offer you are in a very strong analytical energy with the king of swords thinking of things from the perspective of um head over heart decisions so it does look like you feel that you need to make a decision at this time but you don't have to do it i don't see you having to do it in a very fast manner because we have that this is a time of observation for you so the month of february should be much more about taking stock taking inventory showing gratitude and you always do capricorn you always know that what's good in your life. You're very strong in the gratitude sector of your emotional and spiritual growth. We get the energy of the Five of Cups. What are you sad about here? You want romance or you feel as though you'd like to have more one-on-one -on -one time with the person that you love. Maybe friends could be interfering. The Three of Cups, you've knocked those over. I don't want friends with benefits. Yeah, you're very protective of a relationship right now. You may have a partner who's spending more time with friends than you would like. Tell us more about this. Six of coins. Well, you're feeling as though you're giving more to a relationship than you're receiving. 
And it's not that you can't. You're a very powerful person when it comes to giving. But you're just feeling a little bit lonely and sad here. So, yeah, left out in the cold. You might not have been invited to a social function. You may feel like you have um, just, you know, you're not having that strong emotional connection at this moment in your life. Somebody that you value seems to be off doing other things. The Four of Cups is here, the Two of Coins, okay. So for some of you, you could be in a situation in which you're being juggled or you're in a situation of friends with benefits that you want to turn into a romantic, um, in, you know, romantic time or rom romantic partner in your life. Let's see, the Ten of Cups says that you're coming in with a relationship. The Three of Wands. Okay, so what I'm seeing here is that you're very much in love with somebody. You know who you want. And it doesn't look like it's sort of unfolding yet the way you want it. What I'm getting here also, too, and this is just generally speaking, because this can all be family, this can be friends, it can be whatever relationship you're thinking about. But with the Page of Pentacles, a small offer is being made, and you feel like you're giving more to the relationship. Could be work also. The Death card, okay. Why is a death card here? That is a transformation is about to happen, a death and rebirth with what somebody is giving you. Okay, let's see what we have here. Seven of Pentacles. Okay, so whoever it is that you're having a situation with that you're not happy about, looks like they're going to step up a little bit. We're going to see more investment here. Where you've seen a small offer, somebody starts showing you much more attention, uh, showing that they care, they're investing, they're investing in the relationship with you. Tell us more about this energy. Nine of Pentacles. <laughs> you may be having a crush or a new relationship with a Virgo energy, that strong Virgo. Somebody who's very attractive, somebody who's desirable, somebody who really hasn't shown you the attention you want, but it's about to happen. So when we do a general reading, I never know what's going to come out, but this is, it looks like you're doing very well in your career. It looks like you're very successful in terms of your life as a whole, but right now you're really seeking a more fulfilling, enriching energy instead of being head over heart you want to be much more passionate and you are this month look at that isn't that great energy yep page of pentacles so somebody that you have a very romantic attraction to somebody who's been very quiet somebody who is a high priestess represents a person with whom you are attracted to that has a very high level skill set like somebody who could i wouldn't say they're famous because we get a very quiet, very, well, the high priestess doesn't speak typically, very intuitive person. So you may love someone who is very much at the top of their career, but somebody who doesn't flaunt that kind of information. Can be like the best surgeon, the best doctor, the best psychologist, somebody who wouldn't necessarily have fame and fortune, but certainly has a great life. Six of Swords says that you will advance this connection during the month. So we're going to leave it there and go to career and money for you, Capricorn. Thank you. Capricorn, welcome to your career and money preview for the month of February. So let's see. It's a general reading. It's like a buffet table. Take what's yours. Leave the rest as always. Okay. So we have the energy of the Hierophant. Okay. So for those of you who work in a large corporation, this would be like a Fortune 500 company. If you're an entrepreneur, it means that you are very grounded, that you're very stable, that your client base tends to be of a wealthier, higher level socioeconomic status. The Hierophant is large institutions, religious beliefs, institutions like marriage, uh, religion, higher education. So whatever it is that you're seeking, you are manifesting. That's Taurus energy. Ten of Cups, great happiness. So this is also a marriage card. So the two of you, you may have a partnership coming up in business, a marriage in business with someone that you seek. We could kind of get a feeling for that in the general overview. You know, I read it a little bit as romantic, but it could very much be about partnering up in your career. Uh, Ten of Cups, a very, very beautiful, harmonious, successful 
uh, collaboration, um, you know, job that you're going to have, but the energy is fantastically positive. The Eight of Swords says that you're up in your head about something, Gemini energy. We get Taurus energy again. You have given and devoted a lot to the situation. You've paid your dues in a manner of speaking. Two of Cups, this is something that you absolutely love. I do feel as though for many of you, you are either working on a creating a union or a partnership with someone. Some of you may be in a family business. Some of you may be, whatever you're doing, you truly love it right down to the core of your very being. If you're a teacher, you absolutely love it. You form uh, sort of strong bonds with the people that you're teaching. Um, that'll only be for a few people. We get the Ten of Swords. So in the near future, you're feeling very defeated by something. You feel as though there's some sort of, almost like a betrayal, because the Ten of Swords is usually the visualization of somebody being stabbed in the back. Now, sometimes it can just be circumstances, but we get that you have pulled yourself off the ground and you are walking into the sun. So you're feeling a little bit down. We saw that in the general. Something's bothering you. We can see you holding back, not wanting to talk about it. We get the energy of you having fire in your belly to win a battle. You are very guarded right now, but you're burning very brightly for a certain goal, a certain outcome that you want. We get that this may not be the month that you get it with the Ten of Swords, but it is a month to observe what's going on because what's hidden here is the Angel of Strength. We get the Taurus Energy Empress. That is manifestation. So in your career, you will manifest it, but you're very guarded. This is definitely a time to watch what's going on very carefully around you so that you can manifest this beautiful energy of abundance. The Empress represents a lot of times. There's a lot of love in energy here. So you may know somebody in your career or workplace that you're very desirous of having in your life. We get the energy though with the empress of uh, sensuality, wealth, abundance, attraction, an ease, a happiness, a joy in life that seems very effortless. So that could be what you desire in your career. You also desire to be very, I think, to really make close alliances and to have very strong relationships in the arena of work for you, Capricorn. It makes sense. It's part of your identity that most of the people that you are very close to in the way of friends are people who usually come to you through the portal of work. We get the Fool card is your wish. You want a new beginning. And your outcome is the Ace of Coins. Somebody is going to make a major offer. Those of you who are looking to sign a contract that have felt very disappointed or foiled, you may have even had a no answer. From now until six weeks, you might get a no answer. But I want you to stand firm. Fight for this. Whatever it is that you're seeking, fight for it because you're going to manifest it. Fantastic. So I don't know feeling blue here. No winter blues for you, Capricorn. You have an amazing reading that's telling you that your wish fulfillment, your stairway to heaven is coming to fruition with your money, with your um, with your career. We see that you're abundant because we have all this Taurus energy, lots of coins, Taurus energy, very abundant. And again, all right, so let's see what's going on here. Ten of, Eight of Swords. You want to take action, and yet somebody is telling you might be waiting for an answer. Aha. So for some of you, the waiting is sort of tormenting you. You're feeling sort of negative, like, well, it may not happen. We put in this amazing proposal. Um, they're thinking it over, sort of they're making a judgment call. Um, it, this is a deliberation process. Libra is also the, the sign of contracts, seventh house partnership contracts. So it looks like somebody has not yet accepted your offer, but you, know, you, you put in the best offer. You can defend your offer. So if somebody were to come back to you and say, you know, 
um, another company was more or less expensive. You may feel defeated by that, but honestly, they're not going to give you the details. You have to observe what they're saying. If they come back to you and say, well, so-and-so is less expensive, I want you to just simply observe what they've said, but they're hiding something from you. Don't feel debilitated. Do not get into this Ten of Swords energy. What I want you to do is absolutely fiercely defend what you are providing because what you're providing is much greater with the Ace of Coins and the Empress than whatever somebody else has offered. So the scope of work along with the value you bring to the table is going to be very important this month for you. But observe and listen very carefully because whoever you're doing business with will literally give you the answer to solve whatever it is that's an objection in closing a deal. Okay, we get six of coins, see? You're going to absolutely get the offer, get the check, get the advance payment. What do we have here for the Nine of Wands? Strength card, oh, winner, winner, chicken dinner here. The strength card means that you simply have the ability to go the distance. You have, you, the way you operate in business is absolutely stunningly powerful. And at the end of the day, you get your new beginning. I'm gonna leave it there. We're gonna go on to love relationship, Capricorn. Thank you. Capricorn, for those of you who are in relationship, Let's take a look of your February preview. At the bottom of the deck, you have a lot to say to somebody. You feel a sense of disappointment or so, like you're not getting the attention that you would like. Whatever offer has been given you, you're not really feeling like it's the one you want. You are going to, however, receive Tiki Torches Starry Nights and your passion is going to be on fire this month. We look at you, you're at a crossroads in your life. You are looking at things from a different perspective and we see that there is a soulmate energy, Scorpio energy, with someone who you've known for a long time, somebody that you have a history with. So we see what could be a reunion and a new beginning in love for you. Capricorn, I love the mini reading. Okay, so now I'm gonna shuffle again and get these beautiful cards back into the main part of your reading. Right, Capricorn, your energy in the recent past has been keeping your options open. We get the energy of wanting to make an offer or receive an offer. An offer is going to be made by you or another person. Somebody's coming in with a vulnerable open heart. Again, it could be you or another person, but we're getting the energy that someone's bringing roses, they're trying to show their intent, a beautiful opening of the heart with like a love note, a cup of wine to show emotional openness. Um, but we really see this lovely picnic basket. This person may be a Virgo, could be somebody you work with, not eight of coins you this person wants to get to know you they want to get to know all about you Capricorn how they view you Capricorn is someone who is a bit aloof hard to read they see you as someone who is a bit of a loner someone who's very spiritual somebody who doesn't speak abruptly you only speak when you have something to say you have this feeling in their heart space, Capricorn, is that you you really work beautifully together. They absolutely love the collaboration. So if you worked with this person, they love to work with you because we see coins and oftentimes Capricorn meets love, uh, you meet your love in your workplace. But if this is more of a social context, it shows that like if you were to go take a dance class, Oh, we're so we're Fred Astaire, we're Ginger Rogers together. I take a step forward, they take the step backward at just the right time. So your person feels like you're highly compatible. We get Virgo energy. This person likes to move slowly and deliberately, as do you. You don't jump to conclusions in relationship. Virgo energy is here three times. You may have a lot of Virgo in your chart. 
Capricorn, or you may be interested in a Virgo. What is hidden in the energy between the two of you? Ten of Wands. You both have left something burdensome behind. What is spirit advising you? Invest, invest in this relationship. It is a good offer. Capricorn, spirit is advising you to move forward. We see the energy of the seven of coins right now. You and another person, I believe, are going to decide to date exclusively. Let's see what we have. Remember, general readings are like a buffet table. You take the yours and leave the rest. If it's not your reading, check out your moon rising and Venus. All right, Capricorn, you have all of this Scorpio energy up here, which does tell me that most likely this is a new love beginning. Okay, Nine of Cups. Well, you've been partying and having fun, but you're not finding it, finding it to be completely satisfying. So though you are very popular... You're just not feeling it on the social scene. The truth of the matter is, is that you're looking for something more fulfilling, something more balanced, something that could be long-term. Libra energy is like marriage energy. It's wanting partnership. We have the energy of the Queen of Wands. So you are elusive and sexy and powerful in your attractiveness. You're fiery. Everybody wants your number. But you're picky. It's okay. Tell us about the Knight of Cups. We have somebody who is a lot of fun. One of your choices is the person you would like to be with. They may not be responding to you in quite the way that you would like for them to respond to you. So the Seven of Cups, we had the Seven of Cups, you on the dating app or whatever, but it does look like this person is fantastic. They don't seem to be able to really be responding in a way that you would like. We get 10 of coins. Okay. So again, Virgo energy. It does look like somebody at work and you have to be careful. That could be also, that can represent marriage. So you could be attracted to somebody who's married and really can't invest. We saw this though right there in your career reading. You have a connection with somebody. All right temperance card. You really know who this is. You may have dated this person at one time. You may have dated them a long time ago. I get the feeling that you are not really in relationship at this point in time, but this is a person that you seek. It does look like you're going to see this person in the near future. The Eight of Swords, though, we saw this in the earlier reading. I don't think you're in communication right now. Tell us what's going on. What is going on in this connection? This is temperance. It's reconciliation. Coming back together, evening things out. Yep, somebody you work with. Somebody that you are desiring, and it doesn't look like it's coming to fruition. Judgment card can indicate also with the Ten of Wands in the mutual energy that the person you're interested in might not be somebody you want to approach yet because they could be going through a divorce and you want to give them their space. Observe, observe, observe. That is the overall energy for the month. This is not a month of action for you. Okay, you're in the hermit mode. You're kind of looking at things from a different perspective. You're not satisfied with something that's superficial. You want something very real. Four of Swords. So you have had some heartbreak and some heartache. You are trying to heal an old wound. For some of you, this could be a relationship. You still crave somebody from the past, but it, you know, take it as it resonates. Two of Wands. Well, you're open. So I don't see the you as being in relationship. It's like you're trying to establish a love relationship with somebody that you know and you highly desire. We get the Three of Coins. This person is feeling very much like they love to spend time with you. Again, Two of Swords. This person is not talking to you, though. Eight of Swords. They're, they have you sort of closed out. What is going on with this person that they won't talk to Capricorn? Why have they made this decision? Ten of Swords, okay. So I will say this, Capricorn, for some of you, um, this reading is a little bit messy because I'm seeing that there looks like there's a judgment of divorce, Ten of Swords, Ten of Wands. There's definitely an ending. And it, you may still be in love with the person that you desire. It looks like this person is not open to you, 
but we do see them. I do see the two of you talking in the near future. Tell us more. How we're looking, I'm going to go to the Knight of Pentacles. This person is moving slowly forward. Virgo energy, Six of Swords, moving away from difficulty. This is how they see the relationship with you proceeding. So I may be doing a relationship reading for Capricorn people who have been divorced or are on the verge of divorce. Justice and judgment is oftentimes the process of trying to separate. Your person has very specific things to say to you. It's kind of a runs with scissors energy. There's a lot of affection here though, but see, yeah, we have Hierophant energy. So I think the Capricorns that I'm reading for have, yeah, I think you're in this evolutionary period in your life when you're ending a significant relationship and trying to figure out your future because you seem to really like the benefits of marriage, Nine of Swords, yeah, up in your head. Nine of Swords, Ten of Swords, a lot of energy here. The Ten of Wands, why is this so burdensome to both of you? Three of Swords, okay. Three of Swords can be a third party situation, as could be for some of you what has taken the situation into a painful point. This can also just be Three Swords through the heart, which is the feeling of being sad and lonely and heartbroken. Chariot card, both of you are moving boldly into the future, but look at that chariot is going backwards. So there is an outside chance for some of you that this will come back together again because with temperance and the chariot card going in back to the future is what I like to call that. What was the burden that was here in this relationship? Was it a third party? Tell us more. Somebody's passion was a burden in the relationship. Somebody's communication being juggled. Okay, so I think for many of you Capricorn, you're in a state of sadness. Two of coins with the three of swords is definitely another party involved in your relationship. The seven of coins, you do have a relationship that you're going to move forward into. You're going to do it tentatively, care, tentatively carefully, but there is somebody, oh, an empress. The empress keeps showing up for you. So it does look like whatever it is that's happening in your love life, you have an amazing person that's going to choose you back, the empress. Now, the empress often represents wife and mother. So if you're wanting the reconciliation, it does look like it's possible. But for those of you who are only seeking new love, it is manifesting for you at this time. A lot of Taurus, Virgo energy, very earth sign compatible energy for you. All right, we're going to go Capricorn now to in situationship. Capricorn in situationship, love in situationship. Let's take a look and see what we have. All right. Let's see. At the bottom of the deck, we have Wheel of Fortune. Oh, good. You deserve some good luck. Four of coins, Capricorn. You're trying to save your money. You're a little bit protective here. But we have this beautiful energy. Somebody's going to open their heart to you. You're going to leave the past behind. You're, you're still in your head. You need to sort of do some more healing work is what we're getting here. The Eight of Cups, it does look like there was a walk away of somebody that maybe juggled you. So we're going to see what we have. We do get you feeling ramped up and excited though, okay? But again, there's a little bit of echoing um, energy throughout the reading today that your personal life doesn't feel as happy as maybe it was in the past, but you're going through a cycle that's going to become very successful in the near future. Oops, well, <laughs> you feel stuck for sure. All right, okay. So, for you and another person with whom you were in situationship in the recent past, it looks as though there has been an ending to the relationship or a feeling of betrayal. Right now, you and this person are very, you have a strong goodwill towards each other. You philosophically feel very much in the energy that you were lucky to know each other, that you're very happy to know each other, that there is still a feeling of joy and happiness in this relationship. Your person that you're dealing with is holding back. They're, they're really being very self-protective in their energy. They're not very open at this time to communication. The ju judgment card is how they see you. They see you as having released them. 
The energy in their heart space is Nine of Cups. You are their happy place, sensual, joy, happy, laughter. They feel as though being with you is a treasure trove of joy. They love you. They want to make an offer to you. They want to come forward. They want to be more vulnerable with you. They want you to open their your heart space to them, but they are going to open up to you. This person may have always have held back from you, Capricorn. What's your mutual energy that's hidden? Ten of Wands, you've both given up on the relationship. The mutual energy is Ten of Swords, Ten of Wands. This is too much to endure. The pain, there's too much pain here. What spirit is recommending? Nine of Swords, get out of your head. That's not helping you. You have a white dove here. Stop worrying. Worry does not get you anywhere. The outcome card is the Eight of Cups. Okay. Both of you are seeking more fulfillment. So it does look as though uh, this ending is going to stay in place at this time. I'm not seeing the two of you, the two of you, both of you want more fulfillment. Because Eight of Cups, Ten of Cups, that's all about fulfillment. Your person felt very fulfilled in this relationship, but you released them. This was too much. You felt that there was a betrayal. Um, but let's go ahead and clarify here for you, Capricorn. That looks crooked. Is that crooked? table crooked? <laughs> all right, there we go. All right, Capricorn, Capricorn, Ten of Swords, what happened here? All through your reading today, you've shown a very strong emotional bent of being less than fulfilled. Everything else in your life looks fantastic. Okay, so Ten of Swords, why is it here? Ah, uh, somebody wasn't being straightforward. There was some sneaky business going on, something that was unfair, not being honest. Balance is required. So... The Justice card can be Divorce Energy also, Five of Swords. So again, I'm getting the fact that Capricorn, you may have been part of a third party situation in which you were the outsider, all right? What's we have? Well, you both, You I would say again that you know this person through work. Your work relationship will go on and will continue to be lucrative for both of you. Emotionally, though, your person is holding back. Libra energy, again, your person feels as though they have to, they have to really stand their ground and try to be head over heart in their interactions with you. They're trying to stay very balanced, very fair, but very business-like, being very communicative, but only communication which is necessary. The judgment card is here by you releasing. They view you as a person who let go of your passion, that decided that passion wasn't enough. They do see you as highly romantic, in the past. They see you as, as looking into the past at the romance that existed. They do see you as someone who wants more with them because we, we get the mirrored energy. They feel that you are very romantic, you are open, you are vulnerable, you are offering a genuine love and so are they. We get the Knight of Cups over here. The pers Your person is in the High Priestess energy really trying to maintain a very spiritual outlook, not talking, keeping their own counsel. Somebody who does love you, the High Priestess loves very deeply, is very nurturing. So it looks like this is a bond that didn't come together because a decision, a head over heart decision, has been made. The Ten of Wands, a burden is too much between the two of you. Uh, the Eight of Coins is repeating itself from the relationship reading. You will continue to work together. You will continue to have interactions. The star card says that both of you just hold each other in amazingly high regard. You are one another's wish fulfillment and love. The nine of swords, why is it here? Oh, Capricorn, you're being told, absolutely do not say something in anger. Don't say something in pain. What spirit is trying to say to you is that you have to speak up or you have to stand your ground and you can communicate but don't be all up in your head don't be self-defeatist don't run with scissors speak your truth but don't say anything that's harsh or has a hard edge to it is a warning here 
So Eight of Cups, both of you have walked away at this time in the relationship. Now, the Eight of Cups, you can always return, but it does speak to the fact that both of you are seeking some sort of happiness that is outside this relationship. Tell us more about the spirit. Okay, so Capricorn, you might be dealing with a Cancerian energy, somebody who's a mother, somebody who is a wife. We get that energy of someone who's married. You have more energy of being single here, but take it as it resonates, three of coins. So this person is not very happy in the fact that they can't have you. They're very unhappy in the fact that it's only a collaboration. This person loves you very much. They want the passion. So that's their energy. They still want the relationship, even though they feel forced to walk away, like they don't have a choice in the matter. Let's see what your energy is for the Eight of Cups. Ten of Coins, you want marriage, stability, happiness, legacy. You want a life experience versus a love experience. You want a love and life experience. With this person, that's what you're seeking. The Tower card, you've brought the Tower card. Ah, excuse me. <gasps> You have ended this relationship. You brought the tower down into the relationship. You knocked the foundation out from underneath it. You either want to rebuild a life and a legacy or you want to move on is what I'm seeing. The three of cups. You're going to friend zone this person. You're going to go on with your life. We're, you're going to rebuild is what I'm seeing. You're absolutely going to rebuild in a relationship that allows you to have legacy because, you know, it's our sign energy. All right, Capricorn, it's been such a joy. Thank you so much for joining me.